Ruiner is a fun top-down twin-stick shooter set in a Blade Runner style world that actually is pretty interesting due to its cool visual cyberpunk-esque style and interesting characters. It's a reflex heavy game with some intense battles against tons of enemies and some really big bad bosses. I was having a lot of fun with this game until I had to mop up the last few trophies needed for the Platinum as this game quickly went from heaven to The Gotta Get Pumped trophy requires you to do 1003 push ups in game, and after completing the game twice, I wasn't even aware that this was a move that you could actually do. So, after looking in the options menu for the controls, I actually discovered how to do the move, and I then decided to boot up the um, city hub world area as this was a place that was probably the most safest area in the game as there was no enemies in the area to come and kill me. So eventually after wandering around I found a cool spot on the rooftops with this gang I befriended and I decided to do the trophy here. So I push up on the d-pad and the guy drops to the ground only to quickly stand up again and now I don't really do too much exercise myself but I'm pretty sure that doesn't count as a push up, more just touching the floor and getting up again. So this time round I decide to hold down the up button on the d-pad and what do you know, he starts to do a series of push ups and it's at this point where I notice the counter at the top of the screen, keeping a tally of how many I've done. Okay, well this is some slow shit ain't it, this is going to take me a while to get to a thousand and three. God damn it, I wish I'd done this in burst throughout my playthrough. Well, 10 down, let's get back to it. It's gonna be awkward on the hands, isn't it? Ugh, okay. Wait, wait a minute. It's counting down from one again. Oh, what? No. It's not remembered them, has it? There's no stat screen for it in the menu either, so that must mean... Oh my god. You have to do all 1,003 in a single attempt without ever letting go of the button. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! And so, because I can't resist not getting the bloody trophy, I then begin the stupid task of holding down on the up button and watching and waiting for my guy to slowly do the 1003 push-ups. Up and down, up and down, up and down he goes as that counter slowly but surely goes up and reaches into the hundreds. What seemed like something so simple in the beginning now starts to take its toll as my finger that was planted firmly on the up button now begins to ache after being locked in the same awkward position for several fucking minutes. Ugh, what the fuck were they thinking? My days, this is such an utterly pointless trophy and I must have it. Fuck my life. I mean, at least in Metal Gear Solid 2, if you did loads of pull-ups on the tanker as Snake, your stamina meter would actually level up, meaning you could hang off ledges longer with a higher level grip meter. So while that was a kind of bullshit trophy, there was still a reward in game for doing so. Hell, even in Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness, when you smashed things and knocked through doors and pulled objects, you would get stronger to allow you to progress. Yet here, here in Ruiner, there's nothing other than the trophy. There's literally no reason to do that many push-ups otherwise. I mean, why even have the fucking button in the first place? It does nothing other than this trophy that's attached to it. And why? Why 1003 too? I mean, what the fuck's that all about? I'd like to think that while working on the game in the office one day, one of the people there, you know, the usual fitness freak asshole who wants everyone else to get involved in their exercise quest, suggested that they see who in the office could do the most push-ups and use that as a trophy in the game. So reluctantly everyone agreed and throughout the day people would take part and eventually someone won with 1003, but you know who the real winner was? It's this guy in the background for not taking part at all. Well played sir. But no, quite frankly that is giving them way too much credit. No, they probably just thought it'd be pretty funny to waste the player's time making them do this pointless task, cramping up their goddamn hand as they do it for 20 minutes in a row to get 1003 push-ups. What a fucking joke. Bunch of fucking wankers, man. There is no other reason for it than to just waste my fucking time. 
And so, as I get up into the hundreds, the uncomfortableness slowly starts to increase, and I become more and more desperate to move my fucking finger with every passing push-up that the guy does. In my mind, it feels like hours have gone by, and I'm starting to wander elsewhere now to distract from the pain in my fucking hand. I think to myself, I must nearly be there by now, so I take a look at the top of the screen to see what the counter's on. 400! Ah! I'm trying to just stay strong, stay focused, thinking of the platinum, and uh, somehow, somehow I make it to 500. <sighs> just 503 more to go. Come on, puppy. Can't you do this any quicker? Why is he so fucking slow? If I wanted to exercise in real time, I'd jump on the fucking treadmill behind me and do that. This is a fucking game, not we fit for fuck's sake. Ugh. I can't bear this. This this is just silly. This is just torture. It feels like this trophy just feels like one of those pranks you play on the new guy at work. You know, the sort of fetch me the glass hammer thing, that sort of thing. This is just... It's just such a dumb thing to do for a trophy that it just can't be true. And I just can't believe I'm doing it. I'm literally just holding in a button. It's like some nerdy fear factor challenge and I'm half expecting Joe Rogan to pop up and start shouting at me that fear is not a factor for me. It's at this point when you really have to question what the fuck you're doing. And for me, this was just a point where I realised, what the hell am I doing this just for a trophy? But the problem with these is, I've done all the other trophies before that, and these bullshit ones, I usually leave till last, and it just, it feels like I've fucking wasted all my time completely if I don't get this and get the platinum. So I just force myself to get through all the mundane and tedious bullshit so I can finally get the platinum and leave this game behind me Ugh, it's just shit this is just a shitty trophy it's just not fun at all and it's just pointless I mean why it has to be done in one go I don't know why you can't just do it for like 10 and then leave it come back to it and later on in the level do another 10 you know and gradually work your way up I mean even then it would still be annoying but it wouldn't be as bullshit as it is now and sure it's only holding your thumb down on the controller but after a while it will start to ache because it's just locked into the same position all the time and then you have that really tense moment where you want to try and swap hands so you try and you do that sort of Indiana Jones style thing where you put your thumb underneath your thumb that's down on the button and try and just move it quickly and hope that it doesn't count it as you let go of the button <laughs> I had to do that a few times when going for this and you know what this just wasn't fun at all Thankfully, I only messed it up once early on when going up to about 100, so I didn't have much of a wasted time to redo all of the bits that I'd done, but it definitely doesn't count any that you do in bursts because I got well past the 1000 mark and I still hadn't got the trophy. It was only when I got to 1003 in a single run that the trophy unlocks and with it the platinum for Ruiner. So it is bullshit that you have to do it all in one go because it doesn't actually tell you that. And you know what? Once I got it, I was really chuffed and excited and I ran through the city to tell everyone the good news. But as with most things and most trophies, most people just don't care. <laughs> so my accomplishment was just one for myself. So I decided to jump on my bike and get out of this area and go towards my next plan. Because you know what? I care and I enjoy trophies. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. If you're enjoying it, then fair play. You go and get those trophies. But for me, this one was bullshit. But I still did it anyway. And that is why the trophy gets a bullshit rating of... Bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit.